Hello. Imagine that in this list we are trying to find the element where if you look at the numbers, right, 10, 20, 42, 42 is the largest number in this list. So we're trying to find the element with the largest number. How would we do that? Well, first I will write a little function, a distance that giving an element would return the number. So right now notice that the this is a string and all the numbers are followed by space and kilometers. So we probably can use a regular expression to match things. We can take inner text and match it against a regular expression. So we want to match it and we want to give it a name. So it's a captured group. So we have a couple of digits followed by a space followed by km. And let's say if we don't match, we can throw an error, but let's assume we always match. We can take the matched groups distance, which is the name of this capture group, and parse it as an integer. But this group will give us the number followed by the space followed by the kilometer. So we need to split it by space, which will separate the number from kilometers, and just take the first item in that array. Okay, so now that we have this utility method, what can we do with it? Let's get all route elements, right, which are by class. And let's ensure that they have loaded because they might be dynamic. So we'll say should empty. So that's great. So now we have them. And then we get a list. So this is jQuery object and we want to find the element with biggest distance, right, by calling get distance on it. The best thing for this is to find it using the Lodash. Lodash is a huge library of useful utilities. One of them is max by, where you give the collection and a function callback to call on each element that will give you a number and then it finds the max number, but it doesn't run the number, it returns the original item. Now, the interesting thing about Lodash, not only it can take arrays, but it can take jQuery objects and it will provide the DOM element to each call. Okay, so maybe if there is no max element, we can throw an error, but let's assume that we found it. We'll just return it. Okay, so maybe let's print it so we can see it in the terminal. Okay, notice that we have a DOM element and it's correct, right? It's the 42 one. What can we do with return element? The cool thing about Cypress, if you return, for example, from seven callback, a DOM element, it automatically wraps it for you. So you can just keep changing Cypress commands or you can attach Cypress assertions. So in this case, we want to confirm that it has the class longest, longest. Perfect. Notice it found the element by the distance. You want to find the shortest distance, copy it. And instead of max by, just min by, and this should have class shortest, right, which is this one. Great. So this is how you can iterate over collection, extract some number, and when they use lodash max byte to find the element with that extracted number. As always, you can find this recipe and more than 500 examples and recipes at my site gliabachmatov.com slash cypress-examples. I will put the link in the description of this video.